How's it going boys? Today we are probably presenting the most absolutely unreasonably devastating deck that currently exists in standard rotation. It is Ovorinxlig's deck, or whatever you call this card. So, at first, I thought it only does, uh, the only effect of Ovorinxlig's is like, if you press a plus two on a planeswalker, you get like, plus four. Plus one, you get plus two. I did not think that wizards will do something as remarkably retarded as make a card that makes planeswalkers come in in starting loyalty times two. Devastating. So, we made obviously a deck about this, and this deck is absolutely insane. Four, so we have four Gilded Gooses, four Lotus Cobras, one Basri Ked, don't, don't ask me why. Uh, three Seekers, God of the Tree. And yes, this card is also completely broken. Four Roiling Regrowths, two Tefaris, uh, ta Masters of Time, two mi uh, Migration Pacts, four Doom Scars, four Kaya's the Inexhaustible, uh, four Veroxlex Monstrous Raiders, uh, two Garouk's Cursed Huntsmen, three Ugin's the Spirit Cooks, and a bunch of lands, four Fable Passages, four World Trees. Oh god, so this new expansion, there's a lot of wrong with it. First of all, this card is insane. Second of all, whenever I make a deck from now on until probably the end of time, if I have green in it, I will put this card in it. It has absolutely not the slightest of downsides, and it is overpowered. A 1-4 that adds any mana has Vigilance, costs 3, aka Great Blocker against aggro decks, aka the enchantment form is insane, and because of the world tree, there is absolutely almost no way of bricking your land bases to not use this. And with Lotus Cobras it's also super easy. Again, this is not even historic, this is standard by the way, and this card is already broken. This card is just dumb broken. So congratulations wizards, magic is officially even more ruined than it was previously. And hey, if you ever want, uh, if you ever were even a little bit about, uh, even a little bit pissed about Ugin exiling your things and not be able to cast them, well there you have it, Kaya the Inexhaustible. If you want to exile your things, go ahead, Kaya's got you covered. Anyway, boys, let us just essentially get cracking and see what happens, because it's gonna be devastating, trust me. Yesterday on stream, Wizards had to resort to the classic principle of I'm gonna verse absolutely only perfect hands and we had like six games in a row we played against perfect hands with every counter to anything. Because we were getting too far ahead with this deck. Because again, this deck is literally just dumbly good. There are no downsides to it. Especially with, you know, the scars and whatnot. But anyway, boys. In the meantime, while enemy con decides on is his hand worth to keep or not, we have a new Patreon. Uncle Heine. Thank you, thank you very much for supporting the channel. I greatly appreciate that. So, we have a Royal, we have Fable Passages. Honestly, not a dream, but hey, considering what we have done to Wizards, nothing will ever be the dream for us. Let's just be real here for a moment in time, right? Okay, at least we had the Vrat, and most likely this is a creature deck, because, well, everything's a creature deck. And as long as we have the ramp, we can play an Ugin. Is that a creature deck? I spy with my little eye something that starts with creature deck. Oh yeah, it's definitely a creature deck. Oh, wow, who would have thought? Yeah, it's a creature deck, it's, it's not exactly like um, anything. Do I want to do it like this? I, do, I, I feel like I do. I feel like I do. And also, absolutely love it that now we have a turn 3 Vrat spell. You do sack your turn 2, but hey, when aggro decks uh, win this easily, boys, let me tell you something. Not exactly a fan of it. Anyway, we're getting combo pieces slowly but certainly, which is always good in the hood. So let us get, well, we are kind of obligated on getting the white land, and let's create a foodie token. Could have done that last turn, but hey, it is what it is, boys. It is what it is. This is not gonna save us. This is not gonna make anything better or worse. It's just, it's just gonna be what it is. Okay, is he not really gonna do anything? Oh, look at that, the three. That's actually good. 
So let us see, how am I gonna do this? Do I wanna play the Kaya then kill that or do we just wanna go for Dugan? There is a chance that he does something extremely ominous to us because he is our enemy Kun. Okay, we want green and we want ah, black. We only have one blue card in here theoretically. Well, not theoretically, but literally practically. Oh, look at that! That's cute! Enemy Kun, you trying to, like, uh, do naughty things to us? It looks like you are, you little whore. Six, seven. Eh, seven is a decent. Actually, I can't even. Ooh, look at that! Flying! Well, if it's flying, means we're blocking! There we go. We did a block. I'm proud of myself. Okay, also did not know that this actually does... Okay, enemy Kun, you're really not gonna do anything here, huh? Also, look at all this man. Also, look at Vorexlix. He is literally there, boys. He is literally there chilling and killing. Oh, yeah. And we have a Kaya, which means we can technically every turn get Ugin back minus seven and not care about anything. What a great game we're playing, boys. What an absolute joy of a game this is. Could I, I, I could not be prouder. Anyway, let's hope he actually doesn't get rid of our Vorixlux. Otherwise, that would be pretty sad. But on the other hand, we have 7 man, 8 man, and he just concedes to Dugin. Again! Amazing that there's no downsides to what we're doing, I know. And this is arguably 100% our slowest start. You know why, boys? Because goddamn reasons. Okay, he did that. Can I exile the land? No, I cannot, but I can play your Vorix Slicks. Okay, so the problem with this is I can't actually deal with this land. Like, this is, I guess, the only counter that exists to our deck, unless we're talking about counter spells. Okay, you were annoying. Guess what, enemy Kun? Do you, do you want to guess what's happening here? Because let me explain what's happening here. Kaya. Kaya has this neat little minus three. And suddenly, a Vorexlux is back. And he's pretty pissed, not gonna lie. Okay, so next turn we're dropping... Well, first we're probably pressing the plus one here for no apparent reason whatsoever. Actually, no, you know what? We could drop a Tefari. Yeah, this is getting a little bit out of hand. Wait, oh, 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 you poor autistic creature. No wonder you have an Ajani avatar. Oh my god. Do you even know what's going on here, enemy Kun? Do you even know what's currently going on? Here, a Kaya emblem. Let me explain that to you like a real fast, real good. Uh, now I can do whatever I please, essentially. There's absolutely no stopping me. You kill this guy, I get a Kaya back. You kill the Ugin, I get the Ugin back. You use the stupid button, whatever land. Oh, no, the deadly is blah blah. No one cares. Watch, he's probably gonna tag the Kaya. Uh, first mistake, uh, boy. Because, now, observe what happens. You killed my Kaya. A tragic loss. A single tear rolls down my eye. <laughs> I am... I am devastated. So much devastation. But... Here she is back again, boys. Here she is back again. And now there's a Garouk. I wanted to drop the Fari, but I only can drop a Garouk. Here's the emblem for no reason. It, like, makes no difference to me, honestly, but... Here it is! Here it is! You know what? F uh, fuck your conclave mentor! <laughs> so sad! Well, I don't know what even what I'm doing, but it's working! <laughs> oh! Devastation, the single... This is what wizards allowed us. Okay, he- okay. Also, here's a little bit of a real conversation. Uh, people are t is saying these stupid things like, Ah, oh, Wizards gonna ban a Vorexlix, it's too overpowered. Ah, oh, Wizards is gonna ban the World Tree. Ah, oh, Wizards is gonna ban all the... 
You just lost the only thing that was left. Also, token gen counter generation. Oh, no, you're not killing my graveyard, you little shit. Oh, you're... Well, you lose anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. But yeah, I was kind of not okay with him killing my graveyard. Even though the exile bin is literally our best friend. But, okay. So here's the honest to god conversation that people seem to not understand. Wizards will never ban Vorexlex. Wizards will never uh, ban the god of the tree. Wizards will never ban the world tree. Because... What happens when you uh, bun the god of the tree? What happens when you bun Vorexlix? You, no one literally wants to buy a single pack of this shit product anymore. You understand? Because the, uh, because rarities exist in Magic the Gathering, wizards cannot bun cards willy-nilly. That's the same reason why they never banned Ugin and Nullamog. Because whole fucking sets of cards exist only to sell you an Ugin and Nullamog. So, if they ban the only reason why people should buy a pack, people are no longer gonna buy a pack. And this the same thing is gonna happen with the Vorexlix and G G G God Tree and all of that stuff. It is gonna be the literal same thing. Without those two cards, th no, there's no reason to buy the set. Sure, there are a couple of interesting cards in the set, but honestly, like, people want Vorexlix, and people want that card. Because they're just so overpowered and can be pretty much fitted in anything that has... Ooh! She mess... Okay, boys, it's still gonna... It's still gonna be a... Uh, a conversation, serious conversation, but... You understand that I am a man, and... I honestly don't think with my head most of the time. I think with my feet. If my feet are cold, it's not a good time, boys. If my feet are hot, it's not a good time, boys. If my feet are, feet are perfectly warm, it's a good time, boys. I am a simple person. Also, same thing applies to my dick thinking. It's even actually more prevalent, not gonna lie. Also, what the hell is happening? Oh, that was great. Um, well, this is a white card, and this is a goose, so why would I nev not keep it ever? Also, uh, this is a super bad hand, by the way. If anyone does not know. This is like the lowest tier that our hand can be. Well, not exactly, but you kind of get the point. Uh, half of our deck is expensive cards, half of our deck is rampy rampu rampy cards. So, yeah. Okay, so we can cast this if we please. We can cast her, but we're gonna obviously go again with the green stuff. What is this enemy, Kun? A hippie day or something? Jesus Christ. Okay, well, now we have no downside as dropping her as a creature. Also, for a goddess, real fucking ugly. Well, Wizards has a real dilemma currently. Their artists are absolutely garbage. Uh, most of the planeswalkers, you can literally not tell if it's supposed to be a man or a woman. There, there is literally no fucking distinction between them. Wizards has a fish... well, Wizards artists. Well, Wizards is forcing this most likely, but still. Goddess of the Tree barely looks fucking female. Those shoulders are more broad than most fucking men I have seen in my life. This is like more broader shoulders than 80% of American men. Admittedly, body form is kinda hot, but the face is disgusting! It looks like a goddamn skeleton. And that goes for pretty much anything that they made not undead, but you know, a male slash female. Like seriously, look at the planeswalkers. You, you can't tell the difference even. It is so goddamn sad the state of wizards are. Well, look at that. He actually did something I was not happy about. Wait, does that... Oh, okay. Wait, that's not permanent, is it? Wait, did you just seriously pay, like, all your mana to make that beetle into a one-time 4-4? Four -four? Well, uh, cute, I guess, but... Enemy con. Oh, is this, is, this is actually not bad, but first of all, we play this. Okay, uh, it's a blocker. What now? Also, the animation is no good. The animation is pretty good. The animation is actually 10 out of 10. So, fire the artists! Keep, keep the marketing team and keep the people who make the animation. Fire everyone else, wizards. 
hey, you say what you will, but at least that's moving up in the world. Previously, it was literally fire fucking everyone because Wizards is a shit company. Now Wizards is a shit company, but hey, at least it's something. Okay, let's see. Oh, more world trees. Well, you know, there's no downside in just playing them. Again, we're gonna have this, like, super soon. AKA, effectively, next turn, if nothing bad happens. No, but next turn it's impossible because we need six lands for the world tree to activate. But yeah, we're close. Come on, drop something funny. Come on, enemy, drop something funny. Do it. That's actually not funny, but hey, I'll take it. At least we heal a little bit. Jesus Christ, this guy really likes this card, huh? I hope he's out of steam because, you know, uh, getting a stupid beetle, getting a stupid Yorvo, and getting two of these. Not gonna lie, kind of like extreme aggression here, wizards. Kind of feeling a lot of that pent-up anger here. But it's dead anyway. Boop. Okay, so if we get a land and he does not drop something that kills us next turn because what are the chances that he has a third primal might in his fucking hand? Zero, I know, right? Amazing, but he is gonna have it. Okay. Gamu! Gamu! I summon a land! I feel it in my bosom! I feel- I could actually just drop this and say, yo OH FOR FUCK'S SAKES! A fucking course you get that, you dumbass shit game. Of course! Yeah, this is definitely what you call intended losing. Oh, two primal mites, the pretty much biggest damage dealing combo he most likely has in his deck, and now goddamn serpent boy. For exactly seven, may I add. I don't think there's a solution for this. I drop this, nothing happens. Okay. Is there a world where we live, though? Is there any- Well, if we top deck another Doom Scar, but at this rate, it's just how fast can he kill us? Jesus Christ, look at this guy. Another one? No, well, close enough, I guess. Okay. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Eat, 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 eat the thingy. I don't care, enemy con. How can he pay this? Does, isn't there a limit to this? Activate abilities of creatures. I guess activating abilities of creatures is technically the right definition. But anyway, kind of lame. Jesus Christ, dude, stop. Like, I understand you're an extreme tryhard here, but... Look at my hand. If I drew a Kaya, I fuck you in the ass. If I drew anything, I fuck you in the ass. But, you know, currently... Jesus Christ. Okay, so that's even a... So, even if I vibe this... There's still a chance we just die, because if this gets a hit and ever, we, we dead. Okay, look at that, a goose. Could have been, like, super, super useful 55 years ago, but I guess it is what it is. Yep, this is Wizards at its finest. Well, you know, not like I have... Well, it, it didn't give us even 6 mana, so if we can actually play our 6 costs. That could have been in the bag. All we needed was a Garouk. If we had a Garouk, we could have actually, like, killed stuff, maybe. Well, if we had a sixth land, we would have been absolutely 100% fine. A little bit faster, but hey, we never got it. Yeah, drop my pen. So, yeah, dying with this deck is kind of complicated, because technically we have absolutely everything that deals with everything. We just kind of have to draw it. But you see, situations like this are kind of on the iffy side. Again, a real, a real smooth, real smooth wizards. Now I need to get either rid of the golden goose or the what? What you call? I can't get rid of this and that. Oh, it is gonna be the goose. Shimata. Okay. I can't play this as a land, by the way. That's sad. Also, look at that! We're getting all of our blue lanes. Kind of not liking that a little bit. Not gonna lie. Kind of not exactly enjoying that, wizards. How, how, how do you give me all, all of them blues? Okay, do this. I could cycle it, but there's absolutely no point. 
Not dropping this ever as a creature if we have the tree on field. Unless something really, really wizards happens. Kind of doubt it though. What, 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 what could wizards happen? Oh, I better not find out. What is this? Is this a cycle deck? Do you not know what year this is, enemy con? Also, uh, we have six lands, so there's no problem in starting to do this. Also, need that planes. Also, I need one more. Uh, black land? Admittedly, it, it, all, it all gets solved with my Gretori pad, but still. Oof, is all I can say. Oh, look at that! That is absolutely fucking hilarious. That's pretty good. Uh, well, kinda-ish. What kind of strange life deck are you? Are you, are you a not helio life deck? Okay, what's with everyone playing Crawling Barons? Kinda don't understand that, honestly. Kinda like, super don't understand it. Ah, oh, whatever. It is what it is. Okay, I need to get rid of that. But at the same time, I need to not die. There are a couple of things that I feel that are gonna work and save the situation. But on the other hand, I kinda feel that I'm, I'm really close to death right here. Oof, is all I can say. Okay, do this. Uh, let us get, uh, doesn't really matter what we get, the tree is popped. Well, I guess whatever. Okay, can we survive a little bit longer? I have a feeling anything we drop is gonna get absolutely binded by something. Also, I have a feeling I could die. Oh, hello there. Six, seven, if I drop this... Mate, I, I am forced to drop that. Oh my fucking god! Can you piss off and die in a corner or something? Like a good little simp. Yeah. Oh! Well, that solves a bunch of problems. Finally, we actually got the lands and could top deck the Garouk. The Garouk here, by the way, in this deck is kinda a lot, literally, for the minus three in a lot of cases. Not gonna lie. It is what it is, boys. It is what it is. Okay, so... Can't cast this. Also, notice that we are currently one win, one loss, but a loss that we had absolutely no chance of winning because wizards reasons. And, at the same fucking magical time, keep in mind, that we have not gotten Lotus Cobras and Royals, which literally allow... By the way, the, with the Lotus Cobras and the Royals, there is a combo where you can pass the Rock Slicks on turn motherfucking 3. Yeah, exactly. I know, pretty great stuff. Okay, anyway, that's a minus 2 and everything you love is dead. Not gonna lie, probably one of my proudest minus 2s in my life. Yep. Did you enjoy playing an aggro deck, you little shit for brains? I hope you did. Technically, you have a lot of HP, but technically, I have this and this, which makes everything like a. Hello, there. Do you? Oh shit! Wait a minute. Oh, that's a minus five. Oof. Well, oof is definitely a term. Oh, for a moment there, I thought I missed something and it's not a minus five. Oh, boys, that would have been horrible. Because the animation for that was, for some reason, I feel delayed. Whatever. Anyway, here we go. Uh, good luck, enemy con. You're gonna need it. And I seriously don't actually mean good luck. I hate you. Like, with a passion, even. So, top deck something. I'm gonna top deck something better. Because most of my things... Ooh, look at that! You're... Everyone plays the Crawling Barons, boys. Everyone literally and their goddamn grandma plays the Crawling Barons nowadays. Well, that's a bit a lot anticlimactic, not gonna lie. But I guess it is what it is. Okay, attack with the doggies. Not gonna attack... No, actually, let's attack with Vorrixlix also. It is... A way of life. Okay, no longer that thing actually works. Are we gonna create food tokens, you may be asking currently yourself. 
If you're asking that seriously, you most likely are new to the channel, because we're winning, which means I am not gonna do things like uh, pop food tokens or create food tokens, because again, we're winning. There's no need for that anymore. Okay, we have an organ in the sideboard. Let's see what we actually get here. Ah, finally, the Kaya. There we go. There she blow it. Okay, attack with everything except the gooses. I don't want to attack with the gooses. They like golden eggs, not actually like do stuff, I guess. Yeah, boys, look at this. Oh, by the way, if we pop the world tree, we're only getting one unit out of it, so don't question me why I'm not popping the world tree. This is not a world tree deck. A lot of people ask me, why don't you actually add gods so the world tree does things? Because this is the world tree is used for mana smoothing in this card, being overpowered. That's pretty much it. So yeah, as you can probably tell by now, there isn't actually a lot anyone can do against us. With this deck. Again, this deck is a lot overpowered. Oh, we just got... Well, this is the easiest way. And now I can just cast another one. Yep. Pretty simple stuff, I know. Let's exile this because I'm a big fan. Also, we're gonna do other Vorixlix types of... Oh, wait, 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 I forgot. When you get a Nugan with Vorixlix, you always cast this. Because it's just unreasonably unsanitary doing what I'm doing currently. Yeah. God, ima- Like, currently we have two wins out of three. Imagine what happens when you actually get the Lotus Crowbrus and the Royals. Imagine what goddamn happens then, boys. Because let me tell you, it's pretty goddamn hilarious what happens then. Also, not gonna click the Tefari, so leave. Uh, uh, it is what it is. Okay. So yeah, how do you deal with this? We theoretically every single turn can almost get a Kaya uh, uh, emblem out if we so choose to. We can do the same for Guru. We can actually wait. Did Kaya talk? I can Kaya exile your own permanence? That's a good question because that would be an easy combo to. You know, just constantly farm Garouk emblems. Huh. I actually don't know that. I haven't tried it because it's kind of honestly, well, a lot redundant. But yeah, exile target... Oh, yeah! So, you exile Garouk, you get Garouk back. So, minus 7, get the emblem. Next turn, minus 3, Kaya dies, exile Garouk, replace his emblem if you have uh, the Korik 6 as, you know, a creature out on the field. Yeah, pretty insane stuff. So, the the most probably insane stuff about this deck is the simple fact that it's not only a Varixlix engine, but it's also whatever you want to call that card. Okay. Oh, one land! Ha ha ha, Wizards of the Coast. Very funny. By the way, this is patented uh, hand-smoothing technology of Wizards. Uh, Wizards have officially claimed that they want less games to be non-games. So, you know, sometimes they will interfere and they will smooth your hand and draw rate. So, I'm, I'm pretty interested how is this supposed to work. I am, I am very interested how is this supposed to work. Okay, let's press the key button. And let's see if we will draw lands. Let's see this patented hand smoothing technology that Wizards is so proud about. Oh, and an aggro deck. Oh, you know what? This looks like that patent that you're gonna... Oh, another... Okay. Yep. Huh. The worst hand possible in a super aggressive deck. So, nothing can go wrong and we lose. I like it, Wizards. I like it. Feels authentic. Man, do I want to queue another game of Magic the Unrigged Yu-Gi-Oh!ing. Amazing! Well, it is what it is, boys. Wizards never stated that they're selling you a fair product. They're, they stated that they're selling you hopes and lies. And those hopes were also lies. Well, this looks a lot better. Also, yes, we have Basri Keret. Don't, don't, don't do... Again, do not at me. 
I like the card, so it's staying. Okay, and by the way, ah, uh, if this was a different color land, we would have been roiling, boys, like there's no tomorrow. Technically, the immort- Okay! Dude, do not kill my dumb cobra. I can just get this out easy. Kill the goose, it's- oh, wait, this card's a card? No one cares. Wow. Okay, there's a three. So, if we play this, one, two, three, four... Not enough, Sedge. Okay, do this in that case. Okay, yeah. Let's just pretend everything is hunky, dory, peachy, squeezy. Uh, there's five colors, right? Oh my god, enemy con, please, no! Oh no! 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 Not my ca hands! Uh, no! The horrors! The horrors! Ah! Oh, I, 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 I see the light drifting away. I'm, I'm, oh fuck you. Dummy as shit. Okay, the food token, I guess. Oh, look at me, I'm wizard of the coast. Blah, 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 poison the cup. Dumb shit. Okay, well, whatever, we still have Kaya. And... Yeah, we still have Kaya, that's pretty much it. Okay, uh, drop this, see what happens. Drop this, pay a little bit of tax, no one cares. Okay, as long as he doesn't discard the card, I think we can still pull this uh, grand spectacle off. Okay, I'm gonna put a counter on this. Doesn't do a lot, but hey, if it dies... Like, this Kai's plus one is also pretty insane, because when this dies, it go, it comes back. That's kind of a great thing. Okay, let me think. One, two, three, four, five. Okay! If he wastes his turn killing Kai, we get this out. I was obviously would not be even remotely surprised if this absolute piece of fucking work is gonna, you know, feed the swarm. Or do that. Or fucking do that, I guess. Very cool enemy hunt. Very cool. Okay, another golden goose opportunity. Hehe. <laughs> okay, well, stop me from putting counters on my gooses. Oh, wait, you can't. Sad, sad, sad. Oh yes, the unkillable gooses. If they get exiled, they come back to daddy. If they get killed, they come back to daddy. If they get turned into frogs, they come back to daddy. Yes, oh my god, will you look at that, no one cares the card. Can actually create food tokens considering we're not exactly been- ah! Can I cast this? Oh my god, I actually can. Nice! Exactly as planned. Exactly as planned. Uh, fuck your vampire. I don't care if this dies. <laughs> uh, as long as the primal bridge stays primal and bridgy. Yeah, I kind of expected Feed the Swan. I TOLD YOU THERE'S GONNA BE A FEED THE SWARM! OF COURSE THERE'S A FUCKING FEED THE SWARM! Oh, look at this! It's so, such a tremendous- Oh, but 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 Of course there's a Feed the Swarm! Of fucking course there's a Feed the Goddamn Swarm! Yeah, of course there's a Goddamn Eat the Swarm! Can't- can't- can't win magic! You can't win against wizards, boys, it is what it is. But I can exile this thing. Admittedly, I'm at least getting decent draws. Though, the fact that we're running low on Kaius currently is like a pretty nonchalant, I'm not gonna lie, not great prospect. Oh, look at that! A fucking whatchamacallit. Okay. I, I guess my goose is cooked then. Yeah, but I get my goose back. Bam. Also, I get a spirit token back, which just means one thing, more blockers. And you know what this means? Well, it doesn't mean a lot, but you get the point. So, the point essentially is like this. I block this, it dies, this blocks this, it doesn't die. 
I hope I made that clear enough. Okay, why can't I have, like, a bunch of mana like he can? I'm, like, missing currently one land to playing Ugin. And, you know, game, uh, re really Sugoi. I would honestly even... What the fuck is this? Wait, why would you play it as a Lothed, not as a goddamn creature? Do you have really nothing better to do with your pitiful life, you dumb shit? Wow, kinda... Like, kinda impressively bad, you feel me? Kind of impressively bad, these people. Okay, let's create... No, wait. No, 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 no. Not sacrifice a food token. Cancel. Create a food token. Yes. Also, what are you exactly gonna do with this? I can create a food token, sack it, acquire life, and, you know, just pay three life. Uh, lose three life. Oh, the sadness. Oh, the absolute sadness. And we get the goddamn goose back. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. Finally, something that actually does something. Okay. Again, not the worst, considering it's actually like deck thinning, boys. Create more food tokens. Put more things. And soon, we will be able to kill Rankle, the ugliest, ugliest creature in the world. Oh, and what are you gonna do? Put trigger... Oh my god, of course. Well, technically, who actually gives two shits? Almost pressed this card a card. That would have been horrible. Oh, that, that would have been the experience of a lifetime, boys. Oh, look at that. My spirits are st still getting created. Oh, the travesty. Well, good luck, shitlord fucking getting now a top deck. Wait, did he just do that again? Wow, that's annoying. No one usually does that. Is it time to set an example? I think it is. Not gonna also sack that, by the way. I have my reasons. And next turn, we're all getting ultimatuming. Ultimatuming. Please don't tell me you obviously top deck. Yep. Oh, wait. Oh, thank God your boy is big brains. Jesus right here, boys. Oh, no. Also, this is so waifu, by the way. Oh, God. I'm gonna have a couple of wet dreams about her. Okay, Anamikon. You tried your best, but again, your best was kind of extremely shit and underwhelming. Like, wizards gave you the hand that countered everything I had. Oh, but your stupidity, not playing this as a goddamn... A sexy goddess redhead kind of ruined it lose three life oh no losing three life wait a minute why can't i actually play dugan oh there we go for a moment there i thought this is gonna be bad but then i understood i'm always correct so it doesn't matter watch this the dream squasher oh yeah oh yeah you see, this is why Wizards interferes in our gameplay. Because a deck like this has obviously zero downsides if you don't give someone a perfect hand to lose. To make them lose. Very impressive, Wizards, not gonna lie. Very, very sugoi. But you understand that I can just literally do it again until I'm satisfied, right? There we go, there's some Garugs, there's some thingy wingies. Also, if you play this, you actually play it like, what's it called? So don't do that. Okay, uh, now we can do it. And he just surrenders. Who would've thought? Yes, boys, this is absolutely what you would call a 100% disgusting deck. And my, cat's and my cat wants out of the room, so thankfully we are actually done here. When obviously the indie development servers finish loading. Okay, so anyway, boys, this was Quizzer Sensen. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the channel. Check out Discord. Check out check out the Patreon. Check out the everything. And have a nice day. Bye bye. Also, you could literally remove the fatty, and then you would be a uh, you know a uh, uh, three color deck. And it would be kind of better, but there's just not many good planeswalker choices, and the fairy is pretty good in some cases. So anyway, bye bye.